Hey guys, I'm just doing a um, an overview of uh, what's called a back badger, or a, it's a backslash with the uh, Baja R body from J Concepts, um, trimmed up to fit. Uh, I did a few things different than I've seen on the internet, but um, I'm doing this just to kind of help people out, other ideas maybe to throw at it. A lot of this um, I got from guys on YouTube and forums and stuff like that, so... <clears throat> Basically, it's got the typical backslash off now wheels with the Panther Komodo Dragon pin tires, I guess, or whatever you want to call them, knobbies. Um, they work pretty good. I'm not impressed with Offna's rims. Just the fact that they chrome plated green rims, so uh, my whole red theme is getting screwed up pretty bad anytime I get any type of uh, curb rash or anything like that. But uh, I'm going to touch it up with some silver paint just to kind of hide it, I guess. Um, the green springs that are on here, I don't know if you can see them, but they're, um, they came with the shocks I bought on eBay. They're Traxxas Big Boys. But the couple different things I did is um, a lot of guys just do a mount in the back and a mount in the front off a stampede mount or whatnot. Um, I'll show you what I did. I did a rustle mount mounted upside down to lower it even. Um, I bought the front mount kit for Rustler and it came with the rear too. I can't remember the track this number but um, and I took the front pegs, found a set some in the package that I liked the height, um, set them in there, you know, mark my and then in the back I had to bring this one up because it wasn't fitting under here very well and it was rubbing on here and it was gonna rub the paint off. So I actually had to make this on my little hobby lathe. Um, so that's something you'd you'd have to get created with a maybe with just a drill and another uh, another short mount or something just to slide it over. And I put a drill drill the hole through and put a nut and bolt. Um, but the front mount's really the only thing I did different, I think, than um, what they do on the internet and uh, the forums and stuff. Um, RPM A arms all the way around. Um, just all the RPM upgrades I could as far as the uh, caster blocks, the um, the hubs, front and rear, the, uh, I did a um, rear wheelie bar mount just to kind of protect the back. I don't want to put a wheelie bar on it because it looks stupid on a vehicle like this, I think. Uh, I did go with ST Racing hub adapters um, for the two-wheel drive slash. I like the idea they have, you can, um, it's hard to see, but there's a hole in there um, that you drop your pin into and then follow it with a set screw. So there's really no way of it coming out unless your set, set screw comes out, but I, uh, I put the blue Loctite to it so it won't come out. Um, I bolted my wing straight through with just four bolts. That can be a little tricky. You want to get your tops on there first, drill your tops, try to line them up, drill one, then try to measure the hole over to go the same distance. Then when you get the tops and tighten them down, and adjust your bottom one so the top of the wing with a with a uh, the mount with a wing mount is is uh, parallel flat so that um, that makes a big difference so your wing looks nice and square and uh, I use the uh, the Proline uh, high downforce wing so that um, that gets really close to the uh, the rear flaps I guess you'd call them of the uh, Badger body um, I had to trim it back quite a bit. Um, all your trimmings in the back, so I don't know if you can see that, but it's trimmed out pretty close across that radius there, and then I mean, a little, but you'll see as you go how to trim it out and stuff. Um, other things I might have done. Oh, another thing I did, which I thought was kind of neat, was I wanted a bumper on the front, so I wouldn't be running into stuff. And the stock, like any type of slash bumper, sticks out like another two inches, way out in the front. Looks really stupid on a buggy. So um, I took and, I don't know if you'll be able to see this, but I took and I cut the slash one back really short and had to make two new holes up here. And the way I did that is it comes with four holes to screw it to this bulkhead. And what I did is I took a spare bulkhead and I bolted it 
with two holes beyond the mounting point and two holes in the center mounting point. So it gave me a um, like a guide, a drill guide. And I drilled two holes. Then I jumped it up to those new two new holes, bolted it down again, and had the other two holes further up for another guide. And that's what I got right there was was those there. And I used um, some button heads instead of uh, countersunk screws because I I wanted to be able to adjust it and get it perfectly square in the front. And if you countersink them. Where you tighten it down is where it's going to be. It doesn't allow you to move it around at all. And I was, it wasn't looking super square, so I, uh, I took and did it that way instead. Um, everything else, it's just a dyed chassis, the RPM skid plates, um, like I said, the slash RPM front bumper, the RPM front and rear shock towers, gear cover, basically everything RPM, uh, big bore, like I said, tracks the shocks. Castle SV2 ESC with a Duratrax uh, 3900 four pole. Um, it's a castle motor from the element system. My element ESC uh, is broken. Not sure what's wrong with it. But um, that's about it. Uh, it's a fun car. It goes really good. Um, I'm going to set up some jumps because it's I built it basically to uh, jump and stuff like that. So if you have any questions about anything and you want to any advice or how I did mine, if you like how it looks, let me know if you like it, uh, like my page, if not, that's fine too, thanks.